Hello students. So, in the previous class, uh, we concluded uh, up to um, uh, this um, uh, single perturbation methods and uh, we also learnt about uh, um, uh, schemes like uh, how to uh, show this um, stable and unstable regions and uh, we also uh, derived some uh, conditions related to uh, uh, linear multi-step uh, method uh, for checking the A stable and A alpha stable um, uh, solutions in a way. Um, today I will uh, talk about uh, BDF methods uh, that is backward difference method and uh, its impl uh, implementation just in very short before we move on to our next chapter. So, um, uh, let me start with uh, BDF method. Um, so, basically uh, so, this uh, LMM, I'm, I'm, I will be using this terminology which usually means a linear multi-step method. So, uh, any type of uh, forward or backward difference method, right. So, basically uh, the uh, it is uh, very standard uh, to introduce this uh, linear multi-step method uh, to solve um, uh, stiff problems or stiff differential equation and uh, uh, from there um, the BDF or uh, BDF or the backward difference formula uh, the BDF family or the backward difference formula of which Euler backward is the lowest order right lowest order member member and uh, has more uh, favorable stability favorable stability so, there are several backward difference formulas out of which uh, Euler for backward difference uh, um, formula or method is of uh, lowest order as well as it gives more stability compared to any backward difference uh, formula. So, that is what we are writing here uh, stability properties properties uh, they have the form they have the form uh, summation j running from 0 to k uh, alpha j x i minus j plus 1 h beta 0 f of t i plus 1 x i plus 1 h. So, basically if we recall the operator recalling the operator uh, nabla um, we define so recalling in the sense uh, we know how nabla is defined so nabla 0 x i plus 1 is equals to x i plus 1 if we have nabla 1 x i plus 1 then this is nabla 0 x i plus 1 minus nabla 0 x i so this is basically uh, x i plus 1 minus of uh, x i uh, dot dot and so on. So, we will have nabla of uh, k x i plus 1 is equals to nabla k minus 1 x i plus 1 uh, and nabla of k uh, x i right. Uh, so, this is uh, what we have here. Now, um, um, what we are going to do. So, we can see we can write uh, linear combinations linear combinations of x i plus 1 dotted up to x i minus of k plus 1 in terms of these in terms of these backward difference 
differences. So, in particular, in particular, there exists gamma 0, gamma 1, dot dot of 2, gamma k such that uh, such that equation let us call that previous equation by 1 by 1 equation 1 is equivalent to summation j running from 0 to k gamma j nabla j x h i plus 1 is equals to h beta f of t i plus 1 x h i plus 1. So, we can use either uh, we can use. So, we can use either formulation formulation to derive the formulae by requiring optimal consistency order optimal consistency consistency order and uh, although although they would also directly follow follow from writing the interpolation formula interpolation formula at t is equals to t i plus 1 dotted up to t i plus 1 minus of k and differentiating ones right. So, it is uh, the same thing that either you can use this uh, for backward difference formula or you can use the interpolation formula at all these known t i s and then you differentiate ones. So, then that will give you also the same uh, backward difference scheme that you have written here and uh, this is the backward difference uh, formula or backward difference scheme that we uh, wanted to tell uh, wanted to uh, know basically and uh, yeah uh, we can consider uh, some uh, examples that we have discussed before uh, the equations that we have discussed before the uh, stiff differential equation and uh, basically apply our uh, backward difference scheme uh, to solve them right um, uh, to further uh, talk about uh, so for example if i consider let's say uh, x dot equals to minus of 1000 uh, x minus cos t where 0 less than t less than or equal to 5 and uh, x at 0 equals to 0. So, basically um, yeah, we can um, use this uh, forward difference scheme and uh, left hand side we can take help of to do the discretization or to write this uh, difference uh, uh, operator and on the right hand side our f t i and t i plus 1 and x h i plus 1 will be given by this here and uh, then using the initial condition we can compute x 1 then uh, similarly x 2 and so on and that is how we can solve this uh, equation. And another example in this context can also be considered uh, example 2. Um, uh, we can have system. So, suppose if we have uh, y dot equals to 1 minus uh, z times uh, y plus uh, q z and epsilon z dot equals to 1 minus z y minus of p z where initially we have uh, y at 0 equals to 1 and uh, z at 0 equals to 0. So, this is you can think of um, uh, interacting species type problem right. So, you have uh, y and z and they are connected by more uh, coupled by these two ODs. We are also given the initial values. So, here again we can use um, uh, epsilon equals to let us say 
a small value we can take. Uh, suppose we have 10 to the power minus 2 and uh, q is equals to I will give you 0 0.08, p is equals to I will give you 0 0.9 and uh, yeah from there we can do this uh, backward uh, the difference formula. So, we can generate uh, for each i we can generate uh, uh, t i and uh, then h i and uh, then we have uh, y h i and z h i. So, initially it will be i equals to 0 then t i will be 0, uh, h uh, will remain as it is, y is this and z is 0. Then we have uh, i is equals to uh, 1, this will be uh, t i will be 0 0.96. Uh, so, um, we can take it as 9.9.64 um, 9 point wait a minute um, so 9.64 something is happening 9.64 then um, uh, 10 to the power minus 4 then our h will become again 9.64 into 10 to the power minus 4 our y will become uh, 0.999 and z will become uh, 0.0814. Uh, Similarly, we can keep on computing the values and I mean you can go up to i is equals to 20 and our h will become uh, 11.15 similarly h i will become uh, t i t i will become this h i will become uh, 4.88 then uh, y h i will become 0 0.499 and this one will become 0 0.3569 so likewise we can compute the values uh, using this uh, backward difference scheme and uh, we can generate the approximate value at these uh, different uh, time points right so, like that, uh, um, yeah, there are several other examples. Uh, so, I will just uh, stop here. Uh, you can think of um, any um, uh, step differential equation, either uh, single equation or uh, it can be uh, of interacting species, like the one we have here. Uh, it, it can be more than uh, two interacting species. So, maybe three equations uh, coupled together, uh, one of them is a stiff differential equation, then also you can use backward difference uh, uh, formula to solve it and so on. Right. So, in this chapter we basically looked into uh, single singular perturbation and uh, this uh, stiff differential equation what happens when you have uh, epsilon uh, going to 0 or epsilon is arbitrary uh, small but not equals to 0 then we uh, studied some results and finally we concluded the chapter with uh, a stable and uh, this backward difference formula so that's what i wanted to talk about uh, in this um, uh, stiff differential equation part uh, now, I would like to uh, move on to one more topic which is our uh, 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 bifurcation theory and uh, we will start uh, uh, the, I mean, uh, the, the, the chapter now basically. So, let us move on to something called bifurcation theory. I think that is also in your uh, syllabus. So, I will start with some uh, idea and then uh, I will talk about some results or theorem and uh, then we keep on uh, looking into further details. Okay. So, suppose uh, we have uh, assumed that, so assume that we have uh, f mapping from omega subset of r 2 to r 2 and uh, omega is open in R 2. Now, consider a two dimensional, consider a two dimensional autonomous, uh, autonomous system. So, that means x dot equals to f of x, call it as equation number 1. Right. Now, let phi t be a solution of 1 for 
all t get r equal to 0 and uh, w phi be the uh, be the omega limit or w limit set of phi t. Uh, we recall that or we um, uh, we want to define or simply do not write we want to just write if. So, basically um, if phi t is bounded for t greater or equal to 0, then w phi is non empty compact and connected and invariant. Then we have the following uh, theorem or result theorem or result ok. So, theorem is if the solution if the solution um, phi t if the solution phi t of 1 is bounded for all t greater or equal to 0, then either 1 is w phi uh, contains an equilibrium point, contains an equilibrium or or uh, second criteria is uh, a phi t is periodic or b is w phi is a periodic orbit. We will come back to this theorem after a while. So, um, the proof we are not uh, not mentioning here. So, here um, we are saying that uh, as the solution of a uh, differential equation. So, this is our let us say two dimensional uh, um, auto non, um, autonomous system that means uh, basically there is no t involved on the right hand side. So, x dot equals to f of x and uh, let phi t be the solution. So, then in that case uh, when this solution will be bounded right. So, when this solution will be bounded that can be um, guaranteed with the help of this theorem. So, this uh, theorem is called as. So, this is uh, Poincare, Poincare uh, Benedict's, Benedict'son theorem. Right. So, basically uh, and this is one of the important theorems in a nonlinear dynamical system. So, uh, we started with a differential equation, but uh, soon we moved to um, um, dynamical system where we talked about uh, chaos theory and then uh, sing, uh, stiff differential equation and we are still in the setting of dynamical system. So, this Poincare Bendixson uh, uh, theorem is uh, one of the important uh, um, uh, how to say theorems in your uh, uh, dynamical system. Um, and uh, we would like to uh, give or proceed with one example just to make this theorem clear and then we will come back to the uh, definition again. So, consider um, example 1. So, consider the system uh, r dot equals to r times 1 minus r square plus mu r cos of theta and theta dot or theta dash equals to 1. 
So, here we have to show that, show that uh, a closed orbit exists, a closed orbit exists for mu belonging to 0 comma 1 solution. So, basically uh, to construct an annulus uh, annulus L u s a n n u L u s annulus 0 less than r minimum less than r less than r maximum um, to be um, a desired trapping region. So, to find r minimum, so to find r minimum, to find r minimum, uh, we require r dash times r 1 minus r square plus mu r cos of theta must be positive for all theta, right. So, since uh, cos of theta is greater than minus 1, then r dash equals to r times 1 minus r square um, minus of uh, uh, plus mu r cos of theta is greater than uh, as uh, so this is greater than minus 1. So, this is greater than r times 1 minus r square uh, minus of mu r and uh, therefore, this will become uh, mu r and therefore, this will become uh, r times uh, 1 minus r square minus of mu bracket close. So, hence any r minimum must be less than square root of 1 minus mu uh, will work as long as mu is less than 1, right. So, if uh, minimum value of r is less than uh, square root of um, 1 minus uh, mu. So, this is r dash is greater than this, right. So, r dash is greater than or equal to this because cos theta is greater than minus 1. So, in fact, it is strictly greater than not only greater than or equal to, but this is uh, strictly greater than, right this is strictly greater than. So, this will work as long as mu is strictly less than 1 and uh, by similar argument by similar argument argument uh, the flow is inward on the outer circle on the outer circle if maximum value of r is greater than 1 plus mu a square root of 1 plus mu. So, therefore, the orbit therefore, therefore, a closed orbit a closed orbit exists for all mu less than 1 and uh, it lies it lies somewhere in the analysis point 99 square root of 1 minus mu less than r less than 1.001 square root of 1 plus mu right so basically for this uh, system uh, we want to have a closed orbit um, so that uh, mu is lying between for mu lying between 0 and 1. So, to construct the uh, closed orbit basically we need to have uh, the minimum and maximum value of uh, r. So, for minimum and maximum value of r um, our the how to say uh, that uh, the trapping region that means the value of r it should be between r minimum and r maximum. So, to find that um, r minimum we start with the equation 
and we know that cos theta is greater than minus 1. So, basically r dash is greater than this. So, therefore, r minimum that means minimum value of r is less than this will work if mu is less than 1 which is what given here and uh, a similar arguments will be given for r max. So, for r max if uh, uh, r, r max is greater than square root of 1 plus mu for mu less than 1 then uh, we basically have uh, the required circuit uh, which is given by this annular region and uh, this is the closed orbit I mean the, the, that is the closed orbit that we were uh, looking for. So, it is basically a closed orbit exists for all mu and it lies somewhere in the annular region this. Okay. So, basically uh, when we are uh, discussing about uh, uh, periodic orbit and orbits um, we need to check uh, whether uh, that orbit exists or not if it does uh, then we have to uh, determine the values uh, for uh, like in this case we need to find out the orbit. Okay. Um, next uh, I will move on to uh, another example. So, let me just uh, show you. So, consider consider the following system. Uh, x dash or x dot equals to minus of x plus a y and uh, x square y is equal uh, plus x square y and here we have y dot equals to b minus a y minus of x square y. So, basically if we uh, plot this, so then it will look like this x 0. So, basically uh, we will have uh, this we are calling this as uh, S 1. So, here we have B uh, A then uh, B by A then this is B comma B by A and uh, then we have something like this right and then this. So, this is uh, our N which is given by 1 1 the normal. So, this region is uh, so this this is our region. So, this is uh, x uh, s 3 uh, sorry s 4. So, s 1 s 4 this one is s 3 and uh, this is s 2. So, we have uh, so on on s 1 so, on S 1 the unit normal is uh, n equals to minus 1 comma 0. So, from here n uh, dot f x will be minus of x plus a y plus x square y which is given by uh, at x equals to 0 and uh, y less than or equal to b by a which is equals to minus of a y that is less than or equal to 0. So, b if we keep on going, so we can determine, um, uh, so we have basically uh, 4 phases right, S 1, S 2, S 3, uh, this is uh, this is S 3 sorry and then we have this as S 4. So, S 1, S 2, S 3, S 4, S 5 right. So, on each uh, side we can determine this uh, n dot f x and uh, n n dot f x and we will see what kind of sign change it is having. We will have uh, the corresponding n that means uh, the unit normal um, uh, not unit normal, but the normal and from there we can uh, calculate n dot f x. So, here it is less than or equal to 0. So, we, we keep on doing that and uh, we will find out that the region uh, uh, the, the trapping region the trapping region the trapping region can be obtained as before right. So, we, we just have to check uh, I mean what will be the, uh, the, the trapping region for which uh, this uh, less, less or equal to sign is, is being maintained and uh, 
we can uh, say that what is the closed circuit for this uh, uh, system of equation. So, either you are given uh, two syst uh, uh, system of equation for uh, uh, two interacting species, we can also have a system of equation for three interacting species from there also we can obtain the closed circuit. We will do these things in detail um, in our coming uh, lectures uh, on this uh, uh, bifurcation theorem. So, today I just wanted to start with um, uh, some close uh, results or uh, examples on closed circuit. Uh, we will continue this discussion in our next class and uh, there we will I will show these things in detail. Alright, so thank you for your attention and uh, I will see you in the next class.